Hello, it's Mr. Omara here. We're going to look at how to use paths to do something other than straight lines. We know that we can tell things to go up and down and left and right and so forth, but you might want a more organic shape. So let's look at how to do that. We're going to go to paths here on the side and we're going to click create path. And we are creating, well, exactly what it sounds like, a path. But you do it by joining dots together. So I'm starting here. And what I want is a kind of a wavy path. So what I'm going to do, see this box here? It would do that in a circuit if I left it like that. But I'm going to unclick that so that it actually does a zigzag. Now, because I want a slightly more organic feel, I'm going to go for a smooth curve. So that yellow and black line that you can see there, that is the path. Now I'm going to call that path underscore flipper because it reminds me of the flipper out of Cracker Jack. And it is possible to go in and edit those points too, so that you can actually change your path if you need to for your game. So that's my path. Now let's have a look at how to use it. So I've clicked on the tick for my path. Let's go to my cat. So let's see if my cat's in my room. Okay, the cat is in fact at the bottom of the room. So let's go to the cat object. So what I'm going to do is say that add event in the event of pressing the space bar. Now this can be anything you want. You are going to, now this is where I'll just move the picture of me, you are going to get him to follow the path, set path. So I'll drop that in there. The path, I'm choosing is path underscore flipper. You do need speed, so I'm going to set it, set it at a speed of three. At the end, it's going to reverse. And relative means that that path is relative to where the sprite is. So you can have an absolute path that will be fixed to a point on the screen or one that relates to where the object is. I imagine you'd probably want most of them to be relative. So we click on OK. And now I'm going to run this level. OK, so there's my cat. And I'm going to press the space bar and see how he doesn't go in a straight line. He, in fact, follows that path that I laid out. And he's going back and forth just like I described. So if you wanted, you know, missiles and so forth that went a different way or monsters that moved on a particular path, this is really good for that. 